Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Forager. This is a game that's in closed beta, which means it's not yet available for the public to play, and it's not a completed game, but it looked like a lot of fun. I didn't currently plan on playing it because I don't usually play games that aren't finished, but it's really, really fun. And beyond that, I had some series planned that I had to postpone that I'll probably explain later in today's video. But for now, let's play some Forager, let's check this out. As far as I understand, it's sort of supposed to be sort of Minecrafty in some ways. I need to open the menu, which I don't know how to do. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I don't know if there's really much of a tutorial or anything. It didn't seem like it, but there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. There's crafting, there's farming. Let's get started by building a furnace. All right, so how do we build a furnace? Let me go back to that pause menu and then, okay, so this is our building and there's a furnace under industrial. So we need 10 stone. All right, let's get to it. And I only played for like a minute or two just to figure out how to play and if it looked like fun and it looks like a lot of fun. Cause it feels like sort of Minecrafty or Terraria-like. Terraria oh, is this diamond? No way we're getting diamond right away. Unless diamond is like a common material in this game. That was iron. Okay, it was sort of bluish, but one thing I like is the experience on the top of the bar, like on the bar on the top, you know? It's like, that seems like it's gonna be really satisfying to fill that up all the time. So let me break one more rock. There we go. And that should be enough for a furnace. So let's make a little guy happy so that he has a furnace and everything. We'll just place that right here. And ooh, that made more stones. So there's other things we can build as well, like a forge and a sewing station. That's cool. And then on the farming, we have a bridge, a fish trap. Ooh, we can make fish to eat, I guess. On the top left, there is a little green bar. I gotta assume that's my hunger, right? Economic, totally question mark. Magical, totally question mark. Okay, so we don't really know yet, but for right now, let's get some, what I have to presume is gold ore, right? This isn't like corn pop cereal. Uh, no, oh, it's gold ore, great. And these are berries, so I, I guess we can eat those or we can use them to make fish traps, which might be a good idea. I mean, are the fish traps one off? I guess we'll find out. But uh, yeah, I don't know if we're doing more than one video on this game. You guys can let me know if you enjoyed this first video. Let me know if you wanna see more. Maybe we'll just do this for a week or two, just trying to figure out this game, see if it's something we wanna play when it's fully released or something like that. But for right now, it's really charming. Oh my, I thought that the rocks were gonna fall into the water. But that's another thing, is it might seem like this game is really tiny. We have this one tiny little island to do everything, but that's actually not quite the case. If we take a look at our thing, we can buy more land for 50 coins, for 60, for 30, for 80. I don't know how to make stuff yet, or like sell stuff. Like we have some ore right now, we have a couple of things, and we have some gear, accessories, basic pickaxe. I would like to make a better pickaxe at some point, but I guess I gotta keep on making things. Uh, we got this tree, these trees I'm gonna knock down for sure, because we get wood out of that. But now that we've done this, I mean, we've gotten most of the materials gone, and I, don't, I haven't found a way to earn up coins, so I'm getting a little concerned. There must be a way to at least, oh, I am hungry. All right, this guy's a little, uh, I guess, assertive. Uh, for right now, oh, it does say it has a value, so all these have a value of one. Really not expensive material at this point. Let's just eat some berries really quick. Oh, that does not restore very much. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna have to be very careful uh, about my hunger. Hunger seems to already be playing a big part on all of this. This is a really cute game though, I love it. It's, it's really fun, so I don't know. I would like to play a couple of episodes. Oh, a tree just popped up. I wonder if that's a thing. We're about to hit level two as well. There it is, level two. Cool, so skill points one set on the top there. Treasure chests found, zero out of 45. Lands owned, one out of 49. Interesting. So we have skills right here for our skill points. What do we got? We got industry, unlocks steel, unlocks glass, gain experience when building structures. We have economy, instantly gain 40 coins. That sounds tempting, so I can instantly get one of these side islands. Foraging, cotton spawns more often, allows you to find wheat, allows you to find beets. If hunger's gonna be a big deal, foraging will be good. And then finally we have magic, allows you to find fairies. Don't know what fairies do, so I don't know if that's good or not. I think we should go with foraging, just to play safe. That way we can get some extra food, and then next level we should probably get some extra money. Wood cutting, trees drop 50% more wood. Uh, gathering, that's a weird font. Some of the some of these font choices are a little odd. That looked like Catherine, think, or whatever that's, Catherine. I don't know. 
<laughs> gain four inventory slots. Whoa. Gain 25% more experience from plants and crops. That sounds really good as well. Like, oh, there's some good options right away. Like, more experience seems to be pretty key. So if I could get plus 25% experience for knocking down trees, that sounds like a pretty good setup, if you ask me. This rock wasn't here before. That's pretty good to get. So um, when it comes to the furnace, I just made coal out of, I think, wood. So I can only make one thing at a time. That's not so great. Oh, there's some seeds. Let me get these. Uh, If I can, I might have to get this tree out of the way. Uh, Oh, there's nothing here yet, but maybe something grows there. See, that's very interesting for sure. Um, The music change. Oh, is it getting nighttime? Are baddies gonna show up? I don't know if I like this very much. So a forge. I don't really know what a forge will do in this game, but in, we would need four iron ingots and four bricks. So how do we make an iron ingot? Okay, so we could actually make four if we could keep getting more coal. So let's go ahead and do that for now um, and try to just get coal whatever way we can. Right now it seems like chopping down wood. Speaking of chopping things down, that uses up energy and I'm losing energy. Let's try to eat another orange. The oranges really, really fill you up. I guess they're tangerines, not oranges, but you know what I mean. This is so cool, I like this. This already feels like a really solid game. Ooh, is this a lightning bug? Hi there, buddy. I can't catch you, maybe I need a bug net. <laughs> I'm interested. Ooh, there's one of the beats, right? Uh, plus one experience for that. That was a beat. Gives me 12 energy, the value is two. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that for when I need it. The berries seem to be like my go-to food right now, for sure. Uh, let's take a look at this. Um. So I need another coal piece. Let's go ahead and make that really quickly. And then we'll use that to make another iron ingot and we'll rinse and repeat four times. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the that's the trees growing. That's the wee, okay, gotcha. Um, let's make another coal. And I think I need, how many more? Uh, oh, I only have one coal. Oh, because I used it for the iron ingot. So I need three in total right now. So when that happens, just go ahead and make another one. Oh, it's so snappy. It's really well, like so far UI wise, like the font isn't that great. Hard for me to read, but the actual gameplay stuff, like in and out, it's really quick. I like that, that's pretty good. So, um, how many do I have in total now? Uh, no, don't break it. Three, exactly what, no, stop. So I need to do this. Very nice, okay. Oh, definitely get the food first. Food first, everything else second. So what is this rock gonna have? Just some rocks, what do you know? Smaller rocks within the rock. Ooh, here we go. I don't know when I'm gonna start needing gold ore, but I'll try to keep an eye out. Got some good stuff there. So this is another iron ingot. Let's make another one. And what is this about? Looks like something else is growing. Don't really know yet what that could be. This game's really cool. I like it. Am I breaking this tree? It didn't have a health bar. Uh, What am I breaking here? And got it. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, let's pick all of this up. And then finally, one last iron ingot should be good. Get these berries. Is this cotton or wheat? Looks like cotton to me. It's fiber. Ah, okay, Oh, some more gold. So this stuff just starts popping up more and more. I feel like it's the more we wait around. Yep, the more things are popping up. And I don't know how much longer we have for this day before of course it becomes a new day. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Cool. <laughs> it's so charming. Like there's no enemies yet, which I actually really, really like. Sometimes you don't need a survival game with zombies and gigantic monsters that might keep me up at night, you know? Sometimes I just want some relaxation. Just give me a, a vacation from the normal survival games, which would be great. I mean, there might be enemies. I mean, I don't think that's gonna make it a worse game. <laughs> Anyways, just bust that open. Oh, uh, we need to knock down like one more thing. Three more experience. Is this gonna be that? Yeah, level three. So I'm gonna have to apply another skill point. At this point, I am very tempted just to get some extra money. I feel like a bigger environment might be nice. Ooh, a beat. Let me go ahead and grab, no, nope, this. Yeah, very good. Can't get this quite yet. The music is so nice. It really feels like, like a Nintendo game or something. I would like to see something like this in a Nintendo console. That'd be cool. Um, So we need to make more coal. Oh, I could have crafted two. I, I sort of see how I could have done that now. All right, so I'll have to wait for that in a second. I don't know if it would be any faster. It'll probably just be twice as long, but at least then I don't have to sit here and pick it back up. So a brick is one coal each. So let's go ahead. How many bricks did I need for the industrial? Four in total. So I need, and if there's, okay, three more. One, two, three. There you go. 
That should be good. And it's making three of them, so I don't know if it fills it up, pops it out, and just moves to the next one right away. It might do that. Looks like it, okay. So I can just worry about other stuff for now while that's doing its thing. Try to pay attention to my energy as much as I can. I like on the bottom right, when you pick something up, it tells you how many of that item you now have in total. That's pretty helpful. It always keeps me in mind about how much I have and how much I need. So we're already like a third through level three. Good progress being made. My energy is about to get lower again, so pick up those three. Get some wheat for the first time. We're getting a couple more too. All right, I've just about cleared this place out. So I should eat. Yes, you should. Um, so let's make four of these, and then I'm gonna pause the game. Eat until I have 10 of those. I'll eat, well the, the beats give 12 energy, the citrus does as well, but the, the beats cost one more, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, and then for the wheat, we got wheats and beets, uh, also two. Interesting, okay, so let me grab that. And then, oh, what's that little flower? I'll find out in a moment. Let's go ahead and figure out our skill points. So we have one, I'm pressing the wrong button, sorry. Not used to the Xbox controller. Uh, let's do the economy, I think that's a good idea. In instantly gain 40 coins. So let's go ahead and learn this, because not a, if anything else, it does branch off the different paths. Like now we have forge, forges create four extra coins every time. Nice. Okay, so I don't know what, I guess they can make coins. Unlocks vaults. Huh, interesting. I mean, I think I wanna go with gathering, because gaining 25% more experience from all plants occurs, I feel like that's gonna add up a lot in the long run. Um, I should buy lands and expand, I agree. Uh, just give me a sec, what is this? Flower, okay, I thought I didn't know if it was anything specific, like a dandelion or something. Got one last brick to make there, but we're actually gonna do that, we're gonna expand our land. The only one we can afford is this one, so, it, oh my. Um, is there an enemy, was that a little slime guy? Hi slime guy, oh, 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 gotcha. <laughs> okay, so see if they're easy, I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> um, well, what is this? Is this a puzzle? Yes, it is. Okay, this is like, I'm guessing it's about how many like parts it has. So one, two, three, oh, three. Oh, there's another slime over there, four. Yeah, I was right, whoa, big treasure chest I can't reach. Or can I? Um, I need a key. Ah, this is cool. So not only are you expanding to find more materials, but there's other secrets to be found. We're building the world. That is really, really cool. Okay, so there's much more to find and run around for. The only thing I don't appreciate about this area is of course the fact that uh, I can't uh, run through it very easily because of all the like little gaps and stuff, you know? There we go, got some extra experience there. So, oh, coal! What is it, our first time finding a coal rock? There were a couple things I wanted to look into buying. Now that things are going seemingly well, Oh, it's going, I feel like the, the day doesn't last as long as the night. And maybe more slimes will start to spawn in because we got two slimes before, but we get any more. I'm gonna break this one tree. And one thing I've noticed is that the game does not pause when I go into this menu, which I don't really trust. We do have enough for a forge. It doesn't really tell me what a forge is or does, but the best thing to do is if we wanna learn more about this game is to place it down and find out. Oh, okay, so we can make coins, we can make keys, consumable. Nice, I got it, a slimy pickaxe. Is that better than one I currently got? I can only imagine. I need more iron, for sure. So there's a lot to figure out here. First off, let me go ahead and get some of this gold, and there's some coal waiting for me as well. There is a lot to learn here, for sure. We're about to hit level four. I am exhausted, okay. Um. There we go. There's no way to sleep in this game so far. There's no way to make a bed from what I've seen. But I'll keep my eye out for that possibility. Got some more iron over this way. Iron seems to be the most useful thing for sure. But if I could get a better pickaxe, and maybe that is through the slimy pickaxe, that'd be really nice. So there's a couple more things I need to figure out how to make here. First off, we can make three iron ingots. I think that's a good idea. Got some more coal over here. Come on now. Nice. Okay, so uh, I just wanna check out everything else, right? Like there, there's a lot going on. Like we also have a sewing station. I would need four more bricks for that. And I think it's good just to get everything to figure out how what it does, how to do it as quickly as possible. I have a fish trap and that's a lot of food giving up, but I think that this will, 
As long as this isn't like a one-time use, right? Like it doesn't just find a fish and then it's gone. Um, hopefully it's a little bit more involved than that and I'll find like multiple fish. Then it might be worth it food-wise. Cause like how much energy are we giving up? It took four berries. So that would be eight times four, 32 energy. So if we don't get more than 32 energy worth of fish out of it, or maybe we get an exchange for that. Maybe we get fish, which costs a lot of coins. Maybe we can sell things at some point, seeing how they do have an attributed value. So it's like, there's some things we need to keep in mind. But I think overall we'll be fine, as long as we just keep all that kind of stuff in our heads. So we got all those iron ingots, which is great. We can either make like, okay, we need another one for a key. Well, I'd also need two gold ingots. And then for the slimy pickaxe, I need five more iron ingots. Holy cow, that's a lot. I think the pickaxe is the most useful thing, first and foremost, but I need a lot more iron ore than what I currently have. Luckily, looks like there was more up this way. See, I'm guessing there's gonna be more difficult pieces of land showing up. I mean, maybe the most important thing is to expand. Of course, if you've seen, you know, gameplay this game, or maybe you've played it yourself and you wanna give me some advice, I'm all ears for it. Don't spoil everything in the game for me. I'm having a, a lot of fun exploring it myself. But if you have like an extra tip or two, that might be helpful. I'd love to hear. Anyways, uh, we got to level four, which is really good. I'll try to take advantage of that in just a moment. It seems like there's always constantly something to do, which I both love and despise, because one thing, it keeps me active and having fun constantly, but also I never know what to do first. So I think we should push for industry, because we do get experience when building structures, unlocks glass, unlocks steel, and that sounds like a good idea. There's two pieces of music playing over each other right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get this. And more than anything, it unlocks our options a bit better. We can really see, we got sewing, unlocks leather. Sewing stations work 25% faster. And we also have structures cost 25% less wood. That sounds really good. We'll probably do the fairies thing next, just out of curiosity. All right, so nothing must have when it comes to grabbing th stuff except for this slime. Got the slime parts, very cool. There's two songs playing over each other right now and I don't like it. So now we have steel, which is when we combine iron and gold, which is like, for right now, I just need to keep the gold. I have a lot I can actually make if I could get more uh, things. I am tempted to make another furnace. Oh, we caught something, sweet. Also, okay, we just need stone for this, so that should be fine. I think that's gonna be a good idea, and then we can make a couple pieces of coal. Let's just make 10. We have a lot of wood right now, so that might be a good idea. What do we got? Hey, it's a little fishy, so the fish, gives you 16 energy, so it's not worth four times this amount, but what is its value too? But more than that, it hasn't gone away. So as long as it can catch us, how many fish? At least two fish, if not more. If it if it's two fish, we, we struck even. If it's three fish, we, we got more than what we paid for, so that could be good. Don't know if they eventually do run out or whatever, you know? We'll find out sooner or later, boom. This is a really cool game. I am really appreciating this so far. So let's make as much iron as we can with what we got. And I, th I still think it's a good idea for right now. Like, I mean, oh, I'm really curious to see what's in that chest, but that might have to be for next episode. I think we gotta get that slimy pickaxe. Whoa, speaking of slimy, get out of here, dude. That's some slimy tactics you got going on. I'm working here. Uh, Okay, my energy is low. Let's just go ahead and eat some berries. Once again, gotta be careful because the game does not pause when I stop to eat. That's actually gonna be really challenging. If an enemy sneaks up on us when we're trying to eat, that could be really problematic. But that's another thing that's so good about the menu system being so snappy. It's so easy to get to things. Okay, so for this, what's on my to-do list? I need three more iron ingots. So if I have any more iron, which I currently do not, um, this is so fun. I really like it. Gotcha. At least that's really good experience for not too much energy. It's like a lot less, like only three swings, maybe four for five experience is pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this. Cause sometimes I think these normal stones can drop coal. Maybe not though. Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. All right, good stuff. Oh, there's another slime up there. So we definitely, oh, and this guy, that guy just spawned right next to me. That's a little uncool. Oh, that dropped the citrus, which is nice. Whoa, okay, buddy. Oh, oh, there's some coal. And I don't know what this little patch on the top left is. I can't do anything with it. I don't know if that's like Animal Crossing style. I can make like a shovel at some point and dig up and get like a fossil and sell it to an owl. Oh yeah, I caught something else. Whoa, what is this? It's a seaweed. So the seaweed is eight energy. So uh, that actually has me at 24. Not too bad. I like it. 
Um, so, so far it's looking like this is worthwhile getting the fishing thing. We might want to set up more than one. Um, since this is a value of one, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it because I need the energy. I'm running out of berries though, like majorly. So if I could focus on like citrus and stuff, that might be good. Uh, hmm. So still, still no iron. Nothing around here. Oh, oh, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Go ahead and get that. So that's gonna be a couple more. That was three more iron ore. So I should be able to make one more with that. And in total right now, I have five. So I need three more. So after that, it'll be two more. So lots of work ahead. Let's take a look at our other options for uh, making things. The sewing station, I would just need four more bricks, which shouldn't be too bad. I would just need coal and things. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll make one coal. Okay, I see that little flower. I sort of want that. Like, can we, what can we do with the flower? Uh, right here, we have two of them already, material value one. So nothing yet, but maybe at some point we can make a nice little garden. Grab those two things, go back up this way. So can I bust that at all? Not really, but I can get more berries from you. Oh, oh, oh okay, he, he had quite the jump there. And there's another coal block, a coal stone. Gotcha. And oh, oh, sir, excuse me. So, so far the enemies we've ran into haven't been too much of a challenge, but at some point that might change. So what is feats? I wanna check this out. Oh, feats achieved, zero to 75. Oh, so these are like little achievements. I wonder if we get anything for these. Catch 50 fish, uh, complete the skull maze, have 100 poop in your inventory. Oh, okay, have 100 jelly in your inventory. I don't wanna spoil myself too much, but pretty cool to know about that stuff. I'll try to actively work towards it and see what we can end up getting done. Get this gold ore for sure. Nice stuff. Okay, and there's all the bricks. So what did I need that for again? For the sewing station. There's just a combination of music happening. Level five, nice. Okay, so for this we can make thread. Once again, I don't know if that's useful, but if we had thread, we can make a small backpack or a small wallet. Now I don't know if we need those things, seeing how we already have a backpack. And I mean, it is starting to fill up though. Okay, so that might be worth our while. It'd be smarter to make a chest, if at all possible. What is our goal when it comes to money? 280 coins for that piece of land. The cheapest thing is definitely the 50 then. Oh, we caught another fish. Yeah, okay, now we're definitely making something work. Hmm, get that, that's another flower. The only problem now, it's a little difficult to traverse. Sort of made it like a traffic jam. Grab that. And then I don't know if I need this normal rock. I might have to start avoiding normal rocks for a little bit, because it's just a use of energy that I don't think I'm getting a big return on. And who knows, I might like die at the end of today's episode and have to start all over next time. I don't know if it's like one of those, you know, if you die, you have to start from the beginning kind of games. It might be, probably is, I should assume so. Let's eat two of those. We have so many beets, I gotta be able to eat some of these. Okay, so, farming. We have a bridge. So I guess I can make a bridge over like that, and that just costs four wood. So let's do this, so that when I do make this, I can go across no problem. I think that's gonna make it easier. I actually really like that. I might make a couple more if I can. Uh, bridge, bop, bop. There we go, just for some easier traveling, that might be real nice. Cool, let's go ahead and get this iron for sure. I like this, this is, I'm just, I know I've said that like 18 times, I might say it another 18 times, who knows? I'm a loose cannon, you can never predict me. Uh, okay, so let's check out some other stuff. I think that's everything on our list of things to make at the moment. We don't have any other options. So that's interesting. And then this is just our configuration, so like menu systems. So really at this point, the best thing we could do for ourselves is level up and make materials. So we have glass down this way, which these are all base materials, like building materials, so they don't really there's no use in making it if we don't know what we want it for. Like we have a bottle which uses glass and thread, but what would we put in a bottle? Probably the fairies, or maybe even the fireflies. Ah, okay, so we could try to look into making some of that stuff, that might be worth our while. Just one of everything for now might be good. If that's the case, I think we should definitely make some, like a small backpack, I would need four thread. One, two, three, I'm just gonna make exactly what I need just in case, you know? I don't wanna be in a better state than sorry. Yes, we can make it! The slimy pickaxe is being created. How beautiful. Okay, I really don't like how there's two songs playing over each other. I hope that gets fixed soon. I mean, once again, it's closed beta, so everything you're seeing is an unfinished game. But for being unfinished, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. 
So let us run around and make some glass. For glass, I need sand. I have yet to find sand. Oh, oh, maybe we'll find sand in here. Nope, there's another fish. Okay, so that was all of that. So we can now make a small backpack. And I don't know if that'll stack on our current inventory. I can only hope, right? And if we take a look at everything else. So like there's no non-building materials I can make out of a furnace. I gotta wait for that to be done for it before I can check anything out, but it's almost done. And I can only hope it's more productive. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just waste a bunch of materials on a green pickaxe. I mean, it looks cool. I like the color green a lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that tree took eight hits. I'm gonna try that again. Ready? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That tree took ten hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, maybe I miscounted the first time. So now let's pick up this bad boy. Oh man, slimy pickaxe. Damage is increased by seventy-five percent. Gain fifty percent more jelly when killing slimes. Wow, wait, look at this bad boy. So where's our old one? It just, it goes away. So I guess it must be very straightforward on how this works. So you don't get to choose. So now we would have to beat up bone enemies. We got to get four skulls or whatever, bones. Uh, so probably skeletons are gonna start showing up. And look at this, oh, this is so satisfying with the small backpack, adds four more inventories. That's it? Okay, well, I mean, it, it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so what is our next step then? Um, probably making the key. So we need three more iron ingots for that. So let's try to look around. But now that we have a more damaging pickaxe, we can break things without it spending as much energy. And that seems really crucial. So I'm glad we have it. So I can just like hit this twice and boom, we get what we want. All right, very nice. Getting some easy experience with all that. Did I ever, okay, well I ate a beat. Did I ever use that other skill point? I do have one skill point, okay. Remember, we're gonna do the magic. So it allows you to find fairies. I think that's in the, we should bu build the key, which we won't use until next episode, because we're about to wrap up. Um, but then we'll also build a bottle. So that'll sort of be my to-do list. But like, I feel like this game, it needs a to-do list, or I'm just gonna be scatterbrained 100% of the time, just like jumping from thing to thing, saying like, oh, I'm gonna do this in today's episode, and do everything but that. <laughs> so I'll have to do that for sure. I think I will record a couple more episodes on this because I'm having a ton of fun. But of course, your feedback is always appreciated. Do you want to see more of this game? I would love, love, love to hear. But uh, for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Forager. If you watched this for the video, make sure you comment Foraging Zebra. So now you've watched at the end. If you are a Zebra-tastic viewer, check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.